So today let's uh, work on this question, sparse matrix multiplication. So, so basically spark matrix means uh, give you a matrix and uh, most of the places are zero instead of a natural value. So if you look at this one, there are only like two value, two non-zero values and the rest of the sparse are all filled with zero. All right. So, so when we are doing matrix multiplication, the naive way is by using a triple nested for loop. So if we're looking, looking at this value, so we need to multiply these two and this two and these two and then add them together. So the place, so basically it's a summation of I, K, I, K. So K is the column number here. I is the row number here. And then uh, I, K times K, J. So uh, K, I actually, that's a, yeah, K, J. So K is the, row number in the matrix B and the J is the column number. So for a place IJ here, this one is zero, zero, one, then we are submitting, uh, so we're looking at the first row in the first matrix and the second column in the second matrix. So this is a naive way by, uh, by doing matrix multiplication. So the time complexity will be m times n times k because we need a triple for loop. This is apparently not the optimized solution because we know that our matrix, our matrix is going to be sparse. So let's figure out a, a better way. So in, in general, uh, there are like two uh, other ways to represent a sparse matrix. One is using a linked list. So basically you only have two nodes in your linked list. To, uh, you have all the non-zero nodes and each node will contain uh, information such as location, the row, column number, and also the value. So this is uh, one type of representation. But in this case, if we wanna uh, convert all two matrix into linked list, that's, that's also a lot of work. Another way to uh, represent matrix, especially sparse matrix is uh, maybe like we can have, we can have a, let's say, let's say we can have a double, doubly, a 2D, 2D array list, 2D array or 2D vector. So uh, so we can have something like this. Let's call it column. So the outer vector gonna represent, uh, gonna represent the, the row the row information and uh, the inner vector gonna represent uh, which column, the, uh, the column number that had information. For example, for this one, for this, for the first row, then we only gonna have zero because only at index zero, we have a value, we have a non-zero non value. So, so maybe we can convert one of the matrix, either A or B, into such format. Uh, in this case, let's keep A and try to convert B. So um, we, we can get free information here. Let's get the row number of matrix A and then uh, let's say the column number, let's use another, let's use C, C is a column number, 
matrix A. And then A for. So we know that our result gonna be gonna have a size of n times n. For C, C like right now is the column number for A. It's also equal to the row number of B. So we initialize the array with all zero and uh, This is our result. And now we're gonna convert our second our, our second uh, matrix in this form. So uh, uh, we can uh, first iterate through, uh, let's, let's use the column here because because uh, in our first array, we're looking at rows, and in the second array, we're looking at the columns. And then, we're gonna iterate through the rows. Okay, so now before I iterate through the through uh, the rows here, through each uh, row like seven zero zero here. I'm going to add a add a vector here. Okay. And here we do, we check if B should be J and I. So let, let me let me think. Go. See, let's do this on the second one. So now for the 2D array col column, call here, the outer one represent the row and the inner one represent the column number, the column index where there's a non-zero value. So now we have the setup. We can do the multiplication now. Basically here, when we do multiplication, it's same same idea. We need to first iterate through the row in A and then iterate through the column, column in A. And we know the column is C here, we have this. And now, uh, since we already represent, uh, we already got get all the index, all the, all the index of the non-zero values in matrix B, so we only need to handle, we only need to get rid of all the zero value in A here. So if IJ is, is, is zero, continue. We need to look at, look at it. Otherwise, but here we're gonna loop through. Mm -hmm. 
so we know that, so this is a column number in A. So it, it equals the row number in, in B. Here we're looking at column J. We know K right now means the column index where there's a non-zero value. We know our target location is IK actually. Uh, uh, plus IJ times BJK. And we accumulatively add the uh, new multiplier value to this place. And we return result.